unusual at that time, freshmen hadn't carried a team like that. Nowadays, it's not unusual, but at that time, to have two freshmen carry your team to the national championship was special. First school that was recruiting me was, was Syracuse. Carmel Anthony, I went to see when he was a junior. I rarely go out during the year, but my assistant, Troy Weaver, uh, said, you know, coach, you gotta come see this kid. I was about to go to the athletic director and be like, we need a private plane because we need to get him down to see this game. Once I saw Bayheim come to Baltimore, came to my neighborhood, like I just felt like it was a realness there. Like I felt like I, I owed him something. Throughout the course of the day in school, it's like, oh, Syracuse is coming to the game, Bayheim is coming to the game. So I'm like, oh, like, tonight's tonight. So the game starts and he comes down and he hits a three. Then he went by the guy and pulled up and hit about a 15-footer. Then he came back and he stole the ball. He went down and dunked on two guys. And I turned to Troy, my assistant, I said, well, why weren't we down here before this? <laughs> he looked at me like, you got me seeing all these other guys. It's the best play in the country. So he had said to me, this guy could help us win the national championship. I said, I think you might be right. You know, he's, he, he's that good. And uh, it turned out to be a good one of my few good predictions. <laughs> the first time I had met Mello was at ABCD camp. I had just watched him play against Lenny Cook, who was, who was uh, you know, pro probably, you know, by most uh, recruiting analysts, the number one player in the country. And I watched Mello do what he does, and I was immediately blown away. We knew with Jerry and Carmelo coming in, we had two great freshmen. I remember how well he was shooting the basketball, and I'm like, who's like, this is the guy that's going to Syracuse, like this little short white guy going to Syracuse, this is going to be my point guard. The first time playing pickup over on campus as a group at Syracuse, I, I remember calling my father and said, the real deal, he's the real deal. We really win the tournament, and we barely beat Manhattan, a good Manhattan team. And then we played Oklahoma State, and we're down 16 in the first half. Going into halftime, Bayheim in there, he's doing his spill, he's yelling and breaking chalkboards and TVs. And we came on and we won that game. Then from there, like, our confidence just grew. Warren dumps it down. Carmelo Anthony, the freshman sensation. Syracuse team primed and destined to be a player in this Final Four. We've been dreaming about this from day one. We've been saying that freshman can't do it. We took this thing to the Final Four. We went into the Final Four thinking we're going to win this. This is, this is our time to do this. Way outside, Anthony, yes sir. Beautiful move on Ivy. They had the Defensive Player of the Year playing him, but Carmelo, he just was unstoppable. And we needed every bit of it. Anthony with a new career high, 31. Keem makes an unbelievable play along the baseline off a loose ball. And Warwick, everybody oh! have a What a dunk! I'm not going to mention what the, the dunk is referred to. Royal Ivy, I, I talked I talk trash to him all, all day about that. When we first traded for Melo, that was the first thing he um, pointed out, like, Skinny got you. Once he got that dunk, it was like we took their soul and we took their heart. Like, you felt it, you felt it leave. That dunk kind of took us to a whole another level at that game. After the Texas game, I didn't sleep that night. The next day, that Sunday, I remember walking outside on Bourbon Street. Just seeing everything and just taking it all in and go back and can't sleep the night before the national championship game, wake up in the morning, no pregame nap. I was just at an all-time high. I've never been that excited before, but at ease too. You know, even though I didn't sleep, I was like, let's get this game going. They saw in the locker room before he was really excited, but he wasn't in any way nervous, which you don't expect that from a freshman. You know, Bayham, at that point in time, it was, you know, national championship. He'd been there before in Indiana when Q Smart hit that shot. He was pacing around, and like, he just wasn't himself. And I went up to him, I was like, Coach, don't worry, we got this. We're going to get this done. Carmelo had told me before the game not to worry. That, you 
you know, he had it. We, you know, we had it. He said, "We'll play it. We, we've got it, coach." He came to me before the game and was like, I, I feel it tonight. That's all he said was, I feel it tonight. And he hit the first one from deep. And then he hit another one from deep. And he looked at me and was like, I told you. Then they went zone. And when they went zone, my eyes lit up because I know I can stretch the defense. He is unconscious tonight. McNamara with his sixth three-quarter. Look at this shot. Man. Oh, my goodness. When he crossed him shop and have court. So I'm like, what are you shooting that for? That's too far. That was the feel-good shot. That was the, uh, I made a few. And Bayham used to always like, Jerry, don't shoot that. Don't shoot that. You know, in, 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 in the Bayham voice. And then when he make it, he'd be like, yeah, good job, Jerry. <laughs> Three can tie it. Heinrich with four seconds gives it up corner. Lee shot blocked. They have less than a second to go. It's not how tall, it's how long. And Warwick got a piece of that. Goes outside, Heinrich gets it. Heinrich puts up the shot, it's too long, and Syracuse is your national champion. It's the only time in my life that I ran aimlessly. I didn't know where I was going. It was just pure elation. And I remember Mello being on the bottom of that pile, and it wasn't it wasn't him celebrating, it was him in agonizing pain because so many guys were on top of him. I remember saying it before the game, Tony. I said, if we win, like, I do not want to be on the bottom of the pile. I remember saying that we all, you know, we all laughing and just so happened I'm on the bottom of the pile. But like that moment, I can see why Jerry was always chasing that. Because that's that's a feeling that it don't come around often. Coach was so close a few times, and there were so many great players that that was as rewarding uh, as anything was was to win it for Coach. When you're not ranked preseason and you can get to the Final Four, would have been a heck of a year. But to win it, to see them celebrate was 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 great. We never believed that we had a shot. So for us to come in as freshmen to winning it all, like that meant a lot. I think that made that year. Uh, a little bit more special.